In this video, I'll go over everything you need to know regarding the driving on the tracks in the Leaf Cup, the shroomless lines, the shortcuts and driving strats, and the coin routes. I know quite a lot of you have been looking forward to this episode. My guess that it's mainly for Wario Stadium, but I also think it goes without saying that this collection of tracks is the most difficult to drive, but I'll stop wasting time. Without further ado, let's start giving her, bud. Just before getting started, if you enjoy this video, consider subscribing. It's free, it helps me out a lot, and you can always change your mind. Starting things off, we got Wario Stadium. This this is the track you want to practice if you want to work on your driving in this game. When the race begins, you want to position yourself to the left and immediately begin a left drift. Drift tight on the first turn and charge up and release a super mini turbo as soon as you're on the short straight. Begin another left drift shortly after and go for the four coins. I say go for these because the big time strats can be very tedious to pull off if you don't have a solid coin count. Anyway, release another super mini turbo on the following straight. Position yourself toward the middle coin and a little before trekking off the ramp, perform a left slide immediately into a trek. This will set yourself up nicely for the following turn. As you land, begin another left drift and release a mini turbo onto the following straight. Now, this first boost panel section can be done in two ways. The fast method involves performing a right slide into a left drift before the ramp. Soft drift after the first ramp, then hold wide before going over the second ramp, and as you go over the third ramp, release your mini turbo in the air while still holding wide, then trick off the last ramp. The method where you perform two left nudges before the second and last ramp is slower, but a lot safer, especially if you're in the pack. As long as you don't trick off each of these ramps, you'll be good to go. Anyway, as you land from the last ramp, begin a left drift. This is the tricky part of the track, so stay with me. You want to hold a neutral drift for the most part, and as you can see the first boost ramp ahead, begin to hold wide. There are once again two ways to approach this in a competitive setting. The fast method involves releasing your mini turbo after the rock walls are out of your sight, then immediately perform a right hop into a left slide into a right drift off the ramp. As soon as you have a right drift, you want to hold wide. This will give you a tiny launch forward, but this strat really shines on the second ramp. Anyway, about a quarter of a second after holding wide, soft drift in the air. This should be all you need to charge up a mini turbo. You then want to release that mini turbo a little before landing on the ramp and begin a left drift as soon as you're on the ramp. Again, once you've established that you have a left drift, hold wide. And after about a quarter of a second or less, soft drift. This will give you a massive launch forward. You'll need to take a bit more time to edge out a super mini turbo, but if you can get the hang of this strat, you'll be in really good shape when this track gets picked. The other method is very similar, but with a lot more soft drifting to be safe. As a result, it is much slower. But if you were previously trekking off these ramps, this is a good method to start with. I won't go into too much detail on this method. Anyway, as you land from the fast method, release a super mini turbo as soon as you get it, immediately into a right slide into a right drift. You want to release your mini turbo into a left drift over a small portion of this gap. Soft drift for the most part and release your mini turbo into a left slide over this small gap, then trick off the ramp, aiming in the middle of the two green arrows. Begin a left drift as you land and stay tight. Once again, I'll go over two methods here, with one being much faster than the other. The fast method involves holding wide as you go off the ramp, then after about a quarter of a second, release your mini turbo and tap your R or ZR button immediately afterwards to realign. Begin a left drift as you land from the second ramp, and soft drift while in the air. As you enter the water, you want to hold forward and a bit to the right if need be, and as you land, release a super mini turbo and begin another left drift over the ramp. Hold a tight left drift on the turn, then hold wide on the straight, and release your super mini turbo off the glider in low glider fashion. If you aren't familiar with the fast ending sequence though, I suggest using this method. You can instead trick off the ramp, and while you still drift off the final ramp, just charge up an ultra mini turbo and release it off the glider. You can also combine the ultra mini turbo method with the fast ramp strats, or the slow ramp strats with the double super mini turbo method. Whatever works for you, but if you can, try to adapt to the fast method I mentioned earlier. And wow, we're finally done with a lap of Wario Stadium! All around, as the race begins, perform two left drifts and charge up two super mini turbos on the first few turns, aiming for the coins on the second turn. Trick off the boost ramp and begin a left drift as you land. Do one of the two methods I mentioned earlier on these ramps and make sure not to trick off all of them. Begin a left drift on the following turn and once again, do one of the two methods I mentioned earlier on these ramps. Release your super mini turbo, then perform two mini turbos over the small gaps, then trick off the anti-gravity ramp. Begin a left drift as you land and do one of the two methods I mentioned earlier. If you haven't noticed already, all of the individual ramp strats are timestamped, so if you need a refresher, go check them out. Anyway, do your low glider shenanigans and you're giving her like it's your job. 
Well, we got some breathing room now. The only shortcut worth going over here is the ending shortcut. It saves a solid amount of time, and you can do an ultra mini turbo low glider without losing time like you would if you went around the shortcut. Oh yeah, you can also shroom on the side of these ramps, but you should only do this if you have more than one mushroom or a power item of some sorts. It isn't worth it with one mushroom unless you know you'll get hit if you go over the ramps. This track doesn't have a lot of options outside of the main coin route, but that's okay because you can easily collect a bit more than 10 coins while driving tight. Although, because most of these coins are in the tight lines, that might mean they'll easily be taken from you. So you do have two other options, being the three wide coins after the double ramp strat, and the three wide coins in the underwater section. Hopefully these will serve you well if you're struggling to collect coins. But believe it or not, we're done with Wario Stadium! Let's see what's happening on Sherbet Land. Sherbert Land is a pretty uncommon track online to say the least, but in case you don't have a clue how to drive this track, here you go. As the race begins, position yourself a little to the right, then begin a right drift as soon as you can, chain two mini turbos around the first two turns, and release the second mini turbo on the little incline. Soft drift until you charge up a mini turbo and release it into a left hop into a right drift. This mini turbo is very extra and not fully necessary, but you might get bumped on lap one if you don't do this. Anyway, hold tight until you're on the following straight, then hold wide. Shortly after charging up a super mini turbo, release it into a left slide into a left drift. Soft drift for a tiny bit, then hold wide until you release your mini turbo. Release it shortly after you get it, immediately into a right slide into a right drift. Stay tight and charge up an ultra mini turbo. Release it into a left drift on the following straight. This next section can be a little difficult to get perfectly, but you want to stay as tight as you can and charge up a mini turbo and release it into a right drift. If you do it perfectly, you'll get some solid air and land back on the main road rather than on the incline as I do here, but it's pretty tricky, so don't worry about it too much. Charge up another mini turbo and release it onto the right incline into a left drift. Stay tight and charge up a super mini turbo, which you'll release shortly after getting it, immediately into a right drift. For the most part, soft drift until you're on the following straight, then hold wide until you charge up a super mini turbo. Release it into a left slide into a right drift. Soft drift as you're going around the turn, otherwise hold wide for the most part. As you approach the incline, perform a left hop into a right drift, soft drift where you can, as you'll have to hold wide quite a bit here, and release a super mini turbo after touching this coin underwater into two left hops into a right drift. Quickly charge up a mini turbo, release it into a left hop into another right drift, then charge up one more mini turbo and perform a mini turbo trick off the ramp. And you're giving her full throttle! Yeehaw, bud! So to put it all together, chain a few mini turbos on the first few turns, but you don't have to get the last one before the ice in most scenarios. Release a super mini turbo on the wide straight and release a mini turbo before the next big turn. Charge up an ultra mini turbo and try to get as much air as you can when you release it into a left drift. The same goes for this mini turbo. Get one more mini turbo in this cave section, then charge up a few super mini turbos on the wide snow section while trying to stay as tight as possible. Charge up a super mini turbo as you enter the underwater section, then chain two mini turbos with the second one applying to a mini turbo trick, and would you look at that? You're a natural at Sherbet Land! You have a couple off-road cuts on this section of the track, but the highlight here is definitely the off-road cut. It's the shroom spot, and it saves a lot of time. It can definitely help you out if you're looking to infiltrate the front early. And here's what the top path looks like at the end if you end up taking it. It's slower than the bottom path, but you can still make the most of it if you end up here. Even though you can only collect up to 4 coins while driving tight, not only do you barely miss out on a few easy coins, but you have some sold wide options as well, so this track isn't the worst for coin collecting. You have the 3 wide coins in the cave, the 3 sets of 2 coins in the big snow section, and the 3 coins on the top path. These are the main ones though, there are a few 1 coiners, and there are a couple really wide coins you should never go for, specifically on the wide snow section. Anyway, Sherbert Land has been covered! Let's keep her going on Music Park! On Music Park, the lines on Scooty and Wiggler are the same, but this is definitely a better track for Scooty because you can get the mini turbos much more quickly. On the first turn, you don't have to do this left slide, but you can if you want. Anyway, perform a right drift and quickly charge up a mini turbo. Release it immediately into a left drift. Until you're on the piano, you'll probably have to hold wide a bit, so soft drift where you can. When you get on the piano, immediately release a super mini turbo into another left drift. Soft drift as much as you can, and you should be able to release an ultra mini turbo as soon as you get it into a right hop to realize. Once again, this right slide isn't all that necessary, but begin a left drift nonetheless and charge up a quick mini turbo before the key section. Release it into a hop or slide or two, and begin a right drift on the following turn. You want to hold wide for the most part until you're just before the key section, then hold tight. Perform a super mini turbo trick off the key, and begin a left drift as soon as you land. Hold wide for a tiny bit so you don't run into the next keys. Then 
fully soft drift. As you're on the following straight and about to land, hold wide, then release your ultra mini turbo into a right drift. Soft drift as much as you can, especially while airborne before the tambourine. As you land, release your mini turbo and trick off the ramp to get the super bounce. Begin a right drift as soon as you land and release it on the following straight. It's faster to take the ramp and get the tricks and mini turbo tricks on the ground, but taking the glider is a much safer and much better option if you aren't front running. Anyway, on this section, you can perform some cool tricks and mini turbos to the beat, although I do miss a mini turbo trick here. Nearing the end of this section, you may need to delay your trick as I do here to get both coins and begin a right drift as you land. Hold wide until you're next to the wide strip, then hold tight. Release your super mini turbo off the tambourine and trick off of it. Begin a left drift as you land, and you can chain a few mini turbos on the last and first straight. And yeah, that's Music Park for you. So altogether, you want to get a quick mini turbo on the first turn, then chain a super mini turbo on the piano into an ultra mini turbo after the piano. Perform a mini turbo before the key section and begin a right drift on that turn. Trick off the first key, then fully soft drift to charge an ultra mini turbo. Release it into the super bounce, then release a super mini turbo on the following straight. Take the glider if you want to be safe, or take the ramp and get some tricks on the ground, mainly if you're front running. Begin a right drift after this section and perform another super bounce off the second tambourine. Snake a wee bit here and there at the end, and you're just give it her on a Monday. This mini grass cut after the Piranha Plants is a great one to take advantage of, especially on lap 1. It's a great way to quickly take control of the front. And of course, the ending shortcut. It's the Shroom Spot, and while I do it a little unoptimally here, this is the safe way to do it. And you still save a solid amount of time because you aren't going around the turn. This is a solid track for coin collecting. You can just barely collect up to 10 coins while driving tight, but collecting all 3 coins after the super bounce can be pretty difficult. If you need other options though, I think the only one worth mentioning is the 4 wide coins around the super bounce. There are the 3 wide coins after the first bounce, but these are even harder to get than the tight coins without losing time. Either way, you got options. Mainly the tight lines, but options nonetheless. Anyway, let's finish the job on Yoshi Valley. Yoshi Valley used to get picked really often, but it's a rather uncommon track now, at least to my knowledge. But it is a track you can get the hang of pretty quickly. As the race begins, position yourself to the left, and well before the first turn, begin a left drift. You want to charge up an ultra mini turbo, which you can charge up by soft drifting around the turns while holding wide on the straights. Release it just after you get it into a left slide into a right drift off the bridge. Once you charge up a mini turbo, release it into a left slide into a trick off the ramp, then begin a right drift as you land. Soft drift midway through this turn, and release a super mini turbo as you're on the following straight. Trick off the ramp and begin a right drift as soon as you land. Soft drift a tiny bit, then hold wide until you charge up a mini turbo and perform a mini turbo trick off the ramp. You should probably do a left slide as you land to realign easily. Before tackling the next turn, begin a left drift and hold wide, just like on the first turn. And as you're inclined to stay tight, fully soft drift and release an ultra mini turbo as soon as you get it, immediately into a right hop. Perform a right drift and get a quick mini turbo. Release it into a left drift on the following big turn. You should easily be able to charge up a super mini turbo, which you'll release as soon as you get it, into a right hop, into a right slide, into a left drift. Soft drift as much as you can, then hold wide until you get a mini turbo, which you'll release into a right slide. After that, get two easy mini turbos around the next two turns, and charge up a super mini turbo on the final turn. Release it on the final straight, and get an additional mini turbo before the finish line if you'd like, and you're just doing what has to be done. Let's go, bud! Adding it all up, charge up an ultra mini turbo on the first turn, Then take the bridge path. Release a mini turbo into the bridge ramp and begin a right drift as you land. Release a super mini turbo on the straight, trick off the ramp, and release a mini turbo off the second ramp. Release an ultra mini turbo after the U-turn and get a quick mini turbo after the next. Charge up a super mini turbo after the next big turn and get an additional mini turbo before the bridge. Chain two mini turbos around the next two turns and release a super mini turbo on the final straight. Edge out one last mini turbo if you'd like, and would you look at that? You're the Chad of Yoshi Valley. There are a ton of routes you could take at the beginning. The bridge path is the fastest, but here are some others. The highlight here is the cave path, as that's the second fastest path, and you can collect three coins here too. The other two paths can get you a couple coins, but they are the slower of the ones I've gone through. But as long as you don't take the cannon path, you're good to go.
and for shortcuts, there's the ending cut. You can do it shroomless, but I don't think it's worth going for online at all. Just shroom and bump into the wall, and you should easily be able to edge out a super mini turbo. It's just light work. Even though you can only collect one or two coins while driving tight, this is still a really good track for coin collecting. You just have to go a little out of your way. You have the various coins in the paths I mentioned earlier, the three wide coins on the U-turn, the two sets of two wide coins before the egg, and the two sets of two wide coins on the last two turns. So yeah, you definitely got options if you're lacking in coins. Just make sure you don't sacrifice your spot going for them if your spot is important to you or your team. But with that, we're done with the driving in the Leaf Cup. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, stay tuned for next week when I go over the strategies on each of these tracks. On a side note, I just want to give you guys a big thank you for the massive support on my channel lately. The growth has been insane, and I'm actually running out of time to prepare for my 1,000 subscriber special. When I get around to it, though, I do hope you guys look forward to that. It will be a nice blast to the past. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic day, and keep on giving her, bud.